Good evening from London. The owner of Royal Mail says the recent wave of strikes at the postal firm in the United Kingdom have cost it £200 million so far. The dispute with workers in the Communication Workers Union has led to 18 days of walkouts since August last year. The group's owner, International Distribution Services, today revealed Royal Mail's operating losses mounted to £295 million in the nine months to the end of December. Toyota has named Koji Sato as its new president, CEO and operating officer, replacing third-generation chief executive Akiyo Toyoda, who will become board chairman. The Japanese car giant, currently the world's top-selling automaker, said in a statement that the changes to its executive structure will be effective from April the 1st. Incoming president Sato was previously the company's chief branding officer and president of its Lexus brand. Partech Africa, the VC fund dedicated to technology startups in Africa, has issued its annual report on Africa Tech Venture Capital. The report, which aims to provide a practical picture of the state of the ecosystem, revealed that despite the global VC downturn, the African tech ecosystem grew faster than all other markets globally. Well, earlier, we spoke with Tijani Deme, general partner at Partech, on the key findings of the report. So the, the ecosystem has been growing so far based on deep economic and social trends. It's been about digitization, access to smartphones and internet for everybody. It's been about the growing talent pool that is driving this entrepreneurship. So Nigeria, Egypt, South Africa and Kenya are the top investment destinations in Africa. They account for about 72% of the whole funding that went to tech in Africa. This year, like last year, these top four countries are driving 72 to 74% of all investment. However, I think what is interesting is we've seen more and more over the last few years, about four new markets emerge at the next tier of leaders in the African tech, tech ecosystem. And those markets are Ghana, Morocco, Senegal, and Tunisia. So while it's, again, very concentrated, we're seeing more and more money going to more and more African markets. And this is a sign that innovation is not concentrated. Innovation is everywhere and the value is being built everywhere. And investors are learning how to go and find the right startups to support in these markets. Those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.